TT provides a suite of TT order types that enables traders to customize their order execution. With a TT stop, you can tailor the behavior of a traditional stop order. You can configure a TT stop to trail the market a specified number of ticks. You can set a threshold to trigger your stop and more. In this video, we will demonstrate the benefits of TT stop over native exchange stop orders. We will configure a trailing stop. We will set up a liquidity based trigger to submit our stop and we will create a stop order template that can be used on either side of the market. If we have an open long position of five contracts in the Imini S&P and wanted to enter a stop order to exit our position, instead of using a native exchange stop order, we can use a TT stop to customize the behavior. We select TT stop from the list of order types and see a flyout menu where we can enter our order parameters. For our TT stop order, let's trail the market by three ticks from the last traded price. Then, when the TT stop is triggered, we'll submit a limit order. We can also apply a positive or negative payup, which will place our order the specified number of ticks beyond or away from the trigger price. With this stop order, we want to send a limit order one tick beyond the trigger price, so we'll enter a payup of one. With TT stop selected, our mouse pointer changes to let us know where we are able to place our order. Once entered, we see the parent order three ticks from the last traded price in our MD trader. We also see our parent order in the order book displaying a trigger price of 2703.75. As the market rallies, our sell stop trigger reprices to stay within three ticks of the last traded price. When the market finally comes back down and trades at our trigger price of 2705.50, TT Stop submits a limit sell order at a price of 2705.25, but is able to execute at the better price of 2705.50. With the TT stop, we can also customize how the stop triggers. Instead of simply triggering when the stop price trades, we can specify thresholds for quantity traded or alternately the size of the bidder offer at a price. For example, if we want to place a sell stop but only want the stop to trigger if it looks like the liquidity is about to dry up, we could use TT stop with a liquidity based trigger. For our stop order, we'll set a trigger based on the best bid which will submit a limit order when the available liquidity at our trigger price falls to a quantity of 100 or less. When our stop is triggered, we would like TT to submit a limit order at our trigger price, so we will set our payup to zero from the trigger. Since we are squeezing our stop order and not using any payup ticks, we may also like to use a secondary liquidity trigger. We can use with a tick to reprice our limit order if the liquidity at the next price drops below a separate threshold of 150. In MD Trader, we place our TT stop order off the market. The order book and audit trail show our trigger price of 2704. When the market trades at our trigger price and available liquidity falls below 100 contracts, the stop is triggered and a child limit order is placed at our trigger price. Since the order fills immediately, the with a tick feature that would have checked the liquidity at the next price of 2703.75 does not come into play. With TT order types, we can create order templates for configurations we use often. When we select a template from the dropdown, our flyout populates with the template's values. Let's say we wanted to save our liquidity based trigger example, but wanted to be sure that we could use it for TT stop orders on either side of the market. Instead of basing the trigger on the bid as we did in our sell stop example, we'll select the opposite side option, which will reference the liquidity at the offer when placing a TT buy stop, and will reference the liquidity at the bid when placing a TT sell stop. Again, we'll use a trigger quantity of 100 and enter a zero for payup. We click the save icon and give our order template a name of liquidity trigger. If we wanted this to be our default order template, we could leave the star icon selected, but in this case, we will deselect the star icon. Now, we simply select TT stop from the order type dropdown and select liquidity trigger from our order template dropdown menu. We can use this to place our TT stop on either side of the market. A sell stop will trigger based on the liquidity at the bid and a buy stop will refer to the liquidity on the offer. As you can see, TT stop gives you the flexibility to customize the behavior of your stop orders. For more information on TT order types, visit our website at tradingtechnologies.com.